Hey there, my wedding planning friends, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks so much for clicking on my video. I'm Emily Summer. I'm a wedding planner based in Montana, and I make weekly videos on wedding planning tips and advice. So today we are back in Velvet Bride, which if you are new here, I also own a bridal boutique here in Missoula, Montana. And today we're going to talk all about the top wedding dress trends we are expecting to see for this year, 2024. So I just did a video last week all about overall wedding trends for 2024. So if you're looking for just overall wedding trends for this year, definitely check that video out and I will link it above. Today we're talking specifically wedding dress trends. So a lot of these trends are based on trends that I saw on the runway for New York Bridal Fashion Week back in October and a lot of the dresses that we are having come into the store for this season, as well as a lot of trends I've been seeing on social media and what has been growing in popularity with brides all over. So number one is strapless gowns. We saw a large increase in strapless gowns on the runway this last fall for this upcoming season. Strapless gowns are definitely making a comeback. For a while they were pretty uncommon and was one of the number one things a lot of my brides were coming into the store and asking um, not to try on was a strapless dress. And I've seen an increase in brides coming in, maybe not necessarily looking for a strapless dress, but ending up loving the look of a strapless dress, as well as a lot of strapless styles being in introduced on the runway this last fall. Number two is the more simplistic style. So this is something that has been increasingly popular over the last couple of years. Um, however, we are seeing it even more so on the runway this last fall, kind of taking over more of that boho style. We're seeing that slip away a little bit. It is decreasing in popularity and seeing an increasing number of more of those um, modern, simple, classic, and timeless styles with very little embellishment just achieving that really clean, kind of simple, elegant look. Number three, this kind of goes hand in hand with the strapless trend we are seeing is the cat eye neckline. I feel like it's best to be able to show you an example of this. So this is the only one I have currently in the store. I have more coming in, but the cat eye neckline is essentially when it kind of peaks up in the corners like this, so you have a strapless dress, but rather than it just being a sweetheart or a straight across neckline, it has this scoop and then it kind of comes up on the sides to little peaks and that's what's referred to as a cat eye neckline. And I saw quite a few of these on the runway and planning on bringing several styles with that cat eye neckline into my shop. Number four is slits. We saw this a decent amount last year in the fall and spring seasons, and this is something that I saw an increasing number of new gowns with slits, whether that is in a fitted style or even in big ball gowns having a slit. Slit is something that we will see in a lot of wedding dresses in 2024. Number five is satin. Again, something that we saw kind of increase in popularity over the last couple of years, and this is no different this upcoming year. There are a lot of gowns incorporating um, satin and also pulling in a lot of trends from the 90s these in kind of that satin slip style. Number six, an increasing trend is the second look or having something that you change into, whether that's for your dancing, for an after party, or at some point in your wedding day, having a second look that you change into. And not only the trend of a second look, but a kind of bold second look is the trend that we're expecting to see in 2024. So a lot of fringe, a lot of sparkle, feathers, these are all things that we are seeing in those second look styles for 2024. Number seven is square necklines. A lot of styles that we are seeing for this upcoming year are incorporating more of a square neckline, which is a fairly newer trend and we're seeing a lot more of that moving for this year. Number eight, another kind of modern twist on a classic dress is a lot of corset bo bodices. So a lot of of dresses have a corset bodice that maybe you can't tell that it is corseted or that it has any structure in the bodice but in the last year or so we've seen a lot more of an increase of an exposed bodice and that is continuing in 2024 and continuing to find more unique twists on having this exposed kind of corseted bodice. We're seeing a little bit more of a subtle um, drop waist with the corset boning and seeing corsets placed over the top of the dress so it kind of looks like it's two pieces. There's a lot of ways that we are seeing this corset and exposed kind of corset bodice and boning in the bodice in dresses in 2024. Number nine is pearls. This is nothing super groundbreaking or new. We saw this last year, but this is continuing through 2024, whether that is pearls on the dress itself. We are seeing a lot of embellishments with pearls on the actual dress itself, but also in accessories like gloves, in the hair, um, a lot of pearls 
pearl jewelry is trending right now, as well as pearls in the veil. And number 10, versatility. This is something that is a super fun trend, I think, when it comes to wedding dresses. And what I mean by this is having a dress that has the ability to have different looks or different features that are optional. So whether that is sleeves that are detachable, so you can choose to wear a full long sleeve and either choose to have a second look and take them off or just give the bride an opportunity to kind of customize their look without having to do anything super custom post ordering the dress and alterations and spending more money. Being able to purchase a dress that gives you a couple different options within the dress as a whole. So like I said, detachable sleeves or um, perhaps an overskirt that is detachable. For this new Made With Love gown we have, which is the Carter gown, which right now it is currently off, but it can be worn strapless without the piece or it does have this piece that you can add right over the top of the bodice that gives it an optional one shoulder look. So having dresses that have a couple different looks or a couple different options or or as one of my designers likes to say when showing us new dresses, dresses that can do tricks. So that is a, another trend that we're going to see a lot more of in 2024. Seeing all the new styles and trends for the upcoming year is one of my absolute favorite parts of this industry and this job. And I can't wait to see all of the brides and what they're wearing in 2024. If you're planning on incorporating any of these trends into your 2024 wedding, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. What's your favorite trend? Or if you're just starting your wedding planning and you're not sure what your dress is going to look like, are there any trends that you are super excited about when it comes to wedding dress shopping? I would love to know. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe to get weekly videos on wedding planning tips and advice, and we'll see you next week.